Hi everyone, Tams here. I've got a special video for you this evening. As many of you know, uh, this Saturday I will be helping out with a letter writing meetup event in Winter Park, Florida at the Orlando Watch Company. And myself and Legally Inked on Instagram We'll be hosting a letter writing meetup, and one of the things that's going to be happening there, because the Orlando Watch Company sells fountain pens, there will be uh, the representative uh, NY Pen Guy on Instagram uh, representing Kenro and also Monte Grappa, and they will be featuring the new Game of Thrones fountain pens. And in preparation for that, they were so kind to overnight me one of the fountain pens for me to look at and play with before the event. Now this is on loan to me. They did not give this to me and they're not paying me to say this, but they were kind enough to let me check it out. And I am going to share with you um, what it, what I, what I received and what it looks like. Now I'm not sure which one they sent me, but I am a huge Game of Thrones fan and there are four fountain pens representing four of the houses and there's House Stark, House Targaryen, House Lannister, and House Baratheon. Now without giving too much away for those of you that haven't watched Game of Thrones, although if you haven't you've really been missing out, but those that are very loyal watchers like me, I will tell you my favorite character is Jon Snow, uh, Ghost the Direwolf, and the dragons. Those are my favorite. So, my favorite houses, of course, are House Stark, House Stark Targaryen, and if Jon Snow doesn't ride a dragon this July, the new episodes come out, I may be very upset. But anyway, that's another day. That's another story. So, let's see what they have sent me. Now, this is the outer box. Okay, it's got all the different emblems. There's the dragons, Lannister. Um, yeah, you get an idea. So, Baratheon. So, inside the box is this nice gift box. Okay, before I open this and see what I have received. <laughs> I just want to say, uh, Kenro did loan this pen out to me. They did not give it to me. And they are not paying me to say a word about this. Uh, I thought this was very generous of them to share this uh, pen with me and allow me to play with it a little bit. Because at the event, I'm not going to have time. I'm going to be uh, teaching a wax seal workshop and just helping out with the letter writing meetup. But if those of you that want to join us, you can uh, check out these pens and play with them. So let's open this up and see which pin I have received. All right, voila. Uh, it comes in this nice packaging here and it looks like, uh-oh, I think I know what it is. There's also some ink cartridges here. <gasps> the Targaryen, the dragons, awesome. All right, so let me show you very quickly here. This is a nice, nice pen here. So from the description, what I'll do is I'll link below the actual pen so you can read more about this particular House Targaryen pen. But it does have some um, bronze overlay and the nib is stainless and it has, let's see if I can get a close shot here. It has the dragons here on the top of the cap, which is really nice. It has this dragon here, which is very nice. And then you can ink this up either with the cartridges or, you know, it has the converter here. So um, because I just received this, I'm not going to have time to do a proper review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link below some of my favorite uh, fountain pen resources, podcasts, blogs, YouTube channels, 
that um, have already done some reviews of the pen, and I think that would be helpful for you. But I do think uh, for this event coming up, here's what I think this would be good for. First of all, most of my viewers, I'm not going to lie, uh, most of my viewers are um, females who are just getting into fountain pens, and a lot of us have Twisbees, and some of us have graduated into Franklin Kristoff. Uh, now, these Monte Grappa pens are a little step higher. This pen retails for $350, and at the event, uh, the Orlando Watch Company will be ha will be showcasing uh, some really nice uh, brands of pens. And if you are ready to step up to a nicer fountain pen, and believe me, once you start playing around with some of the nicer pens, it is just a rabbit hole. I mean, you are going to want a really nice pen. Or if you're looking to buy a nice graduation gift for someone, fountain pens are always wonderful. They last a lifetime. They're just timeless to me. You know, I don't really have to be convinced about fountain pens because I love writing instruments, period. But uh, this is absolutely beautiful. Now, those of you that are like me and are huge Game of Thrones uh, geeks, you know this is super cool. And then I know I have a few viewers that have grimoires. And can you imagine inking this up with something like the Diamine Dragons red ink or the uh, Ox Blood <laughs> and, and writing in your grimoire? How wonderful would that be? Um, also, there's a House Stark pen. And I think it would be a lot of fun to ink that up with the. Uh, Robert Oster Fire and Ice. How fun would that be? Now, I'm going to be taking this pin to the event on Saturday. Again, it's not mine, so I have to return it. Um, and they will have some of the other pins there for you to play with. And there will be other brands of fountain pens there for you to check out and get a feel for what a really nice fountain pen feels like how it writes. There will be some wonderful resources for you to ask the questions you may want to ask. And I can honestly tell you that some of the nicest people that have helped me in my fountain pen journey have been uh, Tracy Lee, who is legally inked on Instagram. Her account is private, but you can uh, just send a request. She just wants to make sure you're not a robot. An NY pen guy. And uh, they have wonderful pens. They are very nice people, and they will help you, and they will answer all your questions. So I hope this was as exciting. I'm trying to contain myself because I can totally geek out on Game of Thrones stuff right now. Uh, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to spare you. But um, I think these are just beautiful pens. I can't wait to play with it. As you can see, I'm, I am having a hard time concentrating on the video because I just want to finish this up and then go play with the pen. <laughs> Hopefully you can understand. But I did want to share with you in this unboxing for those of you that aren't going to be able to make it to the, the Letter Writers Meetup in Winter Park, Florida. I thought you might want to see what the pens look like. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll be sure to vlog the event itself so you can see more information. But thanks for joining me, and I'll see you later. Bye!